Dropbox has updated their iPad app and I just want to kind of walk you through that. Um, if you do not already have an account, obviously you would need to create an account right here, but I don't want to do that. I have an account, so I'm going to go ahead, I entered my information and sign in. Um, if I have photos and such that I would like to go ahead and upload, you can do that right now. I don't, so I'm going to tap on skip. And it's going to start you out in your recents, which is very important to know because this is one spot that you're going to find uh, the information for your account. So if you notice on the bottom left it says recents, that's the tab that I'm in right now. I'm going to look all the way up to the top left and there's a little gear wheel and I'm going to tap on that. This will tell you what email you're associating with it, the space that you're using. Um, you can connect it to a computer, or upgrade your account. Um, the camera uploads is important. If you want for any pictures that you take to automatically be saved into your Dropbox, you would turn your camera uploads on. I don't really want that on though. I already struggle with space. Um, you can also do the passcode lock where if you would like to um, make sure that other people aren't accessing your Dropbox, you can turn your passcode on. Um, I would like to show you the help and tap on that. There are some great spots that if you have some problems in here, if I don't cover it, um, the help is a great place to go to. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on close. And you're going to see that I'm in the recents. It will show you any of the new recent things that you've worked on. Uh, great tool. I'm going to tap over on the bottom left to files. And this is going to show you a listing of your files that you have. Uh, you can kind of see if they're shared like this one, there'll be some little people on it. Uh, this folder, or if it's just a simple document, you'll just see something like that. Uh, I'm going to go in this folder. If I tap on it, you're going to see some of the folders that are, uh, sorry, the files that are inside of it. And these files are some movie files. Um, if I'd like to share these, there's a little person in the upper left hand right by the video. I'm going to tap on that, and that will allow me to share and you know who can edit, what they, can they do, create a link, so that's your sharing feature. Um, and also the three little dots right next to the person, I'm going to tap on those. These are important because we also miss them. To create a folder, to select or sort by date, and to get rid of that, just tap on that again. Um, next to a specific file, there is a little arrow and this allows you some different things. You can share. Um, you can make it available offline, which means you can then go ahead and view this, and I'll tap on that, when you don't have Wi-Fi. So maybe you're traveling in a car or something like that, um, or you don't have uh, Wi-Fi available at home. That would allow you to access that. Notice it puts a little green mark on there. Um, I'm going to tap on that again. You can rename, copy, move, or delete as well. So the little arrow to the right is very important to know how to use and access. I'm going to tap back on the word files at the upper left. Um, you can also tap on the plus. You can scan a document. You can upload files. You can create or upload a file. Um, sorry, the middle one was upload photos. So a lot of choices you can do there. So if you wanted to pull in some of your camera roll without it doing automatically, you could do that there. If I tap on photos, you're going to see some more photos that I have. Again, if this is a video that maybe I need to access later on, um, this is a little bit different setting. I don't see those little arrows. In the upper right hand corner, there is this little box and I'll tap on that and that's going to make this available offline. I can turn it off, I can turn it back on. I can also choose to share these at this point. Um, I could trash it or I can tap on the three dots. And these are some of those choices I had before when I was in my files, but this is specific for photos. Um, and now on the bottom left, I'm going to tap on the offline. You will see these are the two videos that I've said I want available offline, so they're downloaded actually. Um, so that I can view these without Wi-Fi. So hopefully that's a little synopsis of uh, Dropbox for the iOS and the updated version.